Good day, YouTubers. Reloading Bench back with you once again. And we're going to call this uh, Pickup Day. Uh, the bench is filled with stuff. Uh, older, so a mix of older stuff, older older style, not uh, older in terms of uh, manufacture date. A couple years old worth of uh, gear. And what made this particular pickup uh, or package a deal was, you know, one, the price, and two, the what was included the variety of what was included for you know somebody essentially getting out of uh, pistol reloading so uh, i'll start on this end and kind of work my way over because the camera being in the way uh, the biggest component heaviest component is a lee classic turret which was my first turret back in my first press back in uh, technically well, technically now the hand loader was the first but uh you know in terms of a real press um this was it and uh the uh the the reason uh for me being interested in this is one uh i don't I'm, i believe lee still makes this i believe it's still available but uh getting it for spare parts is uh is where i'm at because uh, uh again not paying retail and having the spare parts if my press does break down you know linkage cracks something just doesn't work anymore uh that's all good uh, a pound of tight group unopened primers 400 small pistol primers <laughs> so between the powder and the primers that's <laughs> That's a, a, a chunk of money in today's uh, today's market. Again, so I think this was all purchased in 2021 because this is the uh, Lee Reloading catalog from 2021. Uh, some miscellaneous. I mean, anybody who keeps this amount of paper work, uh, original documentation, that's a plus in my book because that's somebody uh, who cares about their stuff. Because that's something I would do. Uh Modern Reloading, Richard Lee, second edition. In my opinion, this is the Bible. I don't care what anybody else says because of the variety of recipes in this book. Nobody else does it like Lee. And I, you know, there's a lot of Lee bashers out there. And, you know, I get it. I get it. Uh, since Lee isn't expensive, it must not be good. And, and I don't buy into that uh, thought process. Uh, every other manufacturer who puts out a reloading manual makes bullets and they have a very limited set of recipes uh, and uh, prove me wrong on that one and the reason they have limited set of recipes is because you know, they have limited bullets whereas Lee doesn't make bullets Lee doesn't make powder so Lee is uh, you know kind of agnostic in, uh, in that space regarding bullets and powder. Uh, whereas, you know, uh, Hornady, Nosler, Sierra, who else? Who else uh, makes a book? Um, those, are the, those are the ones I have and the, those are the ones I'm most intimate with. They all make powder and bullets. Uh, well, not necessarily powder, but bullets. Um, and then you've got uh, your powder manufacturers who have uh, limited uh, recipes for just their powder. So to me, Lee has the blend. Um, 32. I don't reload for 32. This was, you know, okay, I can now. Uh, nine millimeter. Can't have enough nine. 40 Smith and Wesson or 10 millimeter auto. Uh, I've reloaded for 40 in the past. My son is now into 10 millimeter. This gets us in the 10 millimeter space. That's cool. Uh, the bottle for the Lee auto drum charger and uh, I will be showing soonish on the channel uh, something that's uh, yet to come in this design not the best because of how small this little knurled knurled screw is and uh, Lee has once again demonstrated their uh, I won't call it innovating but uh, I will call it um, updating whereas people like hornady not to bash hornady or dylan again not to really bash them but uh they're not updating they're not innovating so 
at least in my opinion. Uh, so, cool bottle, auto drum, uh, large and small pistol primers, the scale, which I will end up giving away to somebody who's maybe new to reloading. Uh, looks like we've got a riser, powder measure riser. Uh, I don't know what these caps are for. Uh, we've got uh, some weights. Uh, we've got uh, powder measure for the auto drum. We've got, uh, that looks large, so I'm going to guess small pistol primer is uh, in the... Uh, in the uh, press. I'm not quite sure what these are. Uh, I know what that is. I know what that is. I know what that is. Um, and this that I just dropped is to mount on the press for the uh, primers. Some people swear by the uh, Lee resizing lubricant. Uh, I don't use it. Again, another part for the uh, this looks like it needs uh, a good cleaning, the indexing. Oh, that's interesting. So my index, see that's the, uh, that's the unfortunate side of uh, cost containment. So my old indexing, metal, plastic. Which one will last longer? Hmm. Wow. Got to keep costs down. That's why I like buy old, buying old stuff. Uh, and again, I'm pretty sure this will last. But uh, this won't last as long as my metal one. Uh, cup for the measure. Tube for primers. This was a die. So die case, I'm not sure what die was in there. So what we've got here is 32 ACP. Again, this is not a caliber I reload for, but uh, I will now be able to reload for 32 ACP. Uh, oh, that's funny. For the uh, oh, that's interesting. So that uh, never thought about that. That's a way to lock the. Uh, throw it in that's uh that's kind of smart and it keeps the o-ring in there too 32 40 the 40 will get converted a little bit of rust we can clean that up 40 will get converted to 10 millimeter and this should be nine millimeter uh, which it is nine millimeter again clean the rust up a little bit uh, very easy to fix Again, polish off the rust. All right, so these two, let me move. I will put the Bible in here. Let me move these two off the bench. Next is a heavy one. I gotta say, this is the coolest case for bullets. Unfortunately, it's 32 caliber, but what a very cool case for some coated 32 caliber. We have friends who shoot 32 ACP. Um, I will not reload for them. Uh, I don't reload for anyone except myself. But, uh, now we have we have the ability so. Uh, 40 Smith & Wesson or 10 millimeter, 180 grain. Whoops, hit the camera. 32 caliber. Again, not, not something we reload for. And then 9 millimeter, 115, which that is what I reload. So these will get used. I don't think there's too, I'm not sure there's 250 in here. But there's, again, between the powder, primer, and bullets, uh, that was a deal right there. Uh, let's see. Put it 
Again, the scores come every once in a while, and I, uh, I will call this a score simply because it was a lot of good stuff for the value. And then this, these, uh, brass. I don't know what these Plasto ammo cans cost, but it was part of the... Uh, so what do we have? 40. Oh, I'm just so not a fan of 40. 40. Not a 40. A lot of 40. So this will this will go into cold storage. Uh, good to have. Uh, again, I, I've shot 40. I've reloaded for 40. Uh, it's not a favorite round. It's a harsh, harsh, harsh round. So I'm going to guess these are all nines. They look to be nines. Oh, 32 ACP. Very easy to spot those tinies. More 32 ACP. Looks like, oh, he's resized and deprimed these. I'm assuming resized. Uh, these are not. And these look to be nines. Uh, not resized. Looks like these are decapped and resized. So need to be cleany cleany. But uh, that's cool. Again, I don't know how much these ammo cans are. Who makes these? These are made by, I'm going to guess Plano. Yeah, Plano. So I'll see what those cost. Uh, I like metal cans, but uh, there's a place for plastic. Uh, overall, this was, uh, this was a win. This was good stuff. Um, good stuff. Uh, I primarily went after the press because I wanted spare parts uh, just in case. I have a number of uh, LCTs. Uh, I guess I'm collecting LCTs like I'm collecting green machines, but uh, that was a score. Later.